Hey guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And I am back. Sorry I didn't pop in yesterday. Had friends, um, unexpected, well not unexpectedly, they contacted us and went, can we have lunch? And we went, of course. So they uh, travelled up and had lunch with us, which was absolutely lovely to catch up. So yesterday's project is becoming today's project for you guys and we are playing with the memories more magnolia lane cards along with the magnolia lane uh, note memories and more note cards and envelopes so these are silver foiled and the envelopes also have this gorgeous um insert which matches the suite perfectly i have also hey sherry thanks for joining i have also pulled out the good morning magnolia stamp set because i'm assuming we're going to want a few sentiments to play with so we're all matching if you're playing along at home and want to have a look at this it's on page uh from page 37 in the catalog and it shows you the whole suite so this is basically a double suite you've got the magnolia lane and then you've got some garden lane um garden lane paper that matches sorry scrolling here on my computer hey joanne i'm glad you're catching me live too hey karen hey julie you caught me live um and the matching uh verdant garden and a uh, garden lane suite the garden garden lane and uh, magnolia lane suite sort of go together really well and create Okay, is anyone here? I'm so sorry, I have no idea what happened then. I have changed my internet. Frozen, right. Hopefully I'm back and I'm trying to also get some internet on my second screen. You're still there, Donna. Yay, I'm so happy someone's still here and stuck around. My internet just dropped out completely. So I've gone and changed to mobile data. Yay! Okay, I was having a moment that I may need to restart the whole video. But this is real life and I'm a real life crafter and I do show you my crafting warts and all. Hello Marjean! I'm so glad I'm back too. No, 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 no. It was definitely me that froze. It was telling me technology is very fickle. Yay, we're all back. Awesome, awesome. So as I was saying when I was rudely interrupted by the technology, if you're dropping in, please say hi because I hate crafting by myself. And even though you guys are living in my little screen, you're still here with me and you're still my friends. So yeah, yay, awesome. We are all back. So what I'm going to do, I haven't even opened this box of memories and more cards since I got them. So I'm going to open them and we're going to have a play. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Rose. Um, yeah, so if any of your friends pop in, say hello to them because I don't necessarily see everyone who joins. So feel free to have a chat with me. I've got my second screen working. Um, and I will flick you guys around. Sorry, my speaker here's in the way. Because I have to have good music or good television watching audio when I'm not talking to you guys. Yes, but we will open... Oh, upside down. We'll open this together and make a couple of note cards and see how we go. So I hope everyone who is in Australia and not in WA had a lovely long weekend I did I think I got nearly 10 cards made so some of those are for my uh, catalog launch which is this weekend and they will all be featuring on my blog and here on my Facebook page very soon. I'll just pop off my overhead light. 
brush. Should not have any extra shadows now. No, that's looking good. Hopefully we are all good here. I have momentarily lost my second screen. So let me refresh that. And then hopefully we will be up and running. Right, we are looking good. Look what I did while I was crafting yesterday. I got pretty peacock ink on my nice clean mat but I'm not changing it until hello Juanita I'm not changing that until um, until it all gets really grungy so there are so many cards in this set I can even have a look at how many we get now they're all our specialty ones I think and I don't think I'm using any of those ones today because they're a bit too big so what I'm looking at is like these size cards to go inside the beautiful foiling although I do love these but you can't really see the foiling but if I really wanted to I could cut one of these in half and then we can get two so we've got a number of these beautiful patterns the only one that really really won't work is the frame so I may be using some vellum we shall wait and see and I do have these beautiful sticker sheets which have wonderful accents and borders and stuff like that on them so I will so I get two each of those so I'll put one of each away I can't pick these up and then we can have them as a reference right hello Miss Shelley turn the bird car paste yes I can that is exactly correct if I wanted to but I like the foil I really do like the foil so yes or I could have a whole different card base. So I'm just going to have a quick flick through these. And oh, you and me love this. Hmm. And my hands are still very cold today, even though it's beautiful and sunny outside. Ooh, I don't mind that. Everyday moments, I'm not sure that works with what I'm really going for here. Uh, no. I'm being very picky today. I shouldn't be. Oh, you are loved. That's a nice one. I love this pattern. Although, that is the back pattern to that. And I love this one. Right. So that is one side done and I've picked a couple of cards out. I don't quite want to use a pair of cards because I want my customers to be able to see what is available in the set, if that makes any sense at all. But I like that they're printed. I like, ooh, a happy birthday one. That's actually quite masculine with the gum leaves and everything like that. Uh, well, this side's more pink than the other side. Sending many warm wishes on your special day. I could have used that for the engagement card that I made the other day. But anyway, ooh. Now, I think I like this one better than I like that one because the sentiment will go nicely in there. Right. Oh, the thank you one's also nice. It's a nice journaling card. Again, to see them all again. Okay, I think we are, I've chosen some. Let's just say I made a decision. Yes, turning the card bases, Donna, is a great idea. 
Now I'm going to make two little piles here of the cards I'm not using. If you hear my husband chitter chattering in the background, he is he's working. And I don't think I'm using any of these six by four cards. Mm. Let's have a look through. We never know. Oh, together is the best place to be. That's lovely. And I have kept these one on each side. Hooray for today. Oh, you are my everything and more. That's a lovely one. Oh, I do like that one. Mm, okay, I'll leave that one out. Okay. Right. Done. I don't think I'm making this many cards, but I do have some decisions. Now, my comments have stopped. So I'm assuming you guys are going to be crafting with me or you're all intently watching. Mm, okay, I'm going to turn this one over. Okay. So, I'm going to make this happy birthday one. So, so, so super duper simple. I am going to grab some dimensionals here. Ah, watching. Awesome. Hey, Karen. I'm so glad you guys are just watching. I just wanted to make sure nothing else technological had happened. Because that will be a horrible thing. Now, I'm thinking on this card, I may put some of these accents on it because we've got these little um, gum leaves that will go perfectly. So I'm trying not to go too overboard with my dimensionals because you should see my floor. Hello, Miss Jeannie. How are you? intently watching oh that makes me feel a bit special Joanne I don't think I'm feeling that special today but I have got some adulting work done this morning which has been quite good which allows me to sit here at my craft desk for a little bit I haven't got all the adulting work done but I've got some of it done including taking my husband to the dentist this morning. Thank God we're done with all those sessions because um, I was getting rather over going to the dentist. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you here. Right. These two are just the ones I had out. Now, these card bases are a little lightweight. But we must remember they are note cards as well. So, oh no, 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 no one saw this happening. Please come off without ripping. Awesome. Now, if you did want to sturdy these up, you can simply... Oh, sorry, concentrating, picking up these... I didn't center it very well um, you could simply add well you're putting this on the outside so that'll sturdy this up and you can add a um, an insert cardstock insert on the inside which will work really really well okay concentrating now just to get this nicely lined up and that's as good as this one's getting and let's add a sticker so these are perfect because they are stickers and I think it just lightens it up a little bit so because it's very green um, now, is this 
that does not go the length of the whole card. I'm just having a look at these borders. Um, I'm thinking I might actually leave that exactly as it is. Very simple. That is a five minute card. You don't have the Magnolia set. The Magnolia set is beautiful. This is the stamp set. So you've got the big magnolia, the bud magnolia, a leaf and lots of balsam sentiments. And you've also got this great flourish. So it, um, it's an all occasion set. Because you've got hello, thanks, thinking of you, thinking of you, you can use for anything. And then you've got enjoy today. Um, and then you've got some more specialized special ones so yeah it is so pretty hello Gary thank you for joining okay so I'm calling this first card done because I'm not adding anything else to it I'm going to pop that envelope up here and I'm going to see what else we have now I love this one so this one has little um, writing on it which is why I'm thinking it's going to have to be a portrait card because the writing goes across and for the life of me hey Linda thanks for joining um, I'm trying to work out which way the writing goes and the writing goes this way but what I think I will do is grab a stamp and I'm thinking of using thinking of you now I'm making sure it appears I may have frozen again but it is possibly my feed I don't know whether to put it in the middle or whether I put it a bit down here. Let me just check my feed here, guys. Sorry, I am going not frozen. Thank you, Karen. It's just my feed here on my computer appears to be frozen so I'm just going oh uh, it says I'm not connected to the internet which is no fun at all oh no I'm connecting woohoo right I may fix my problem there we go oh wrong block I'm thinking the thinking of you looks really nice right there now, let me consult my catalogue and see if it tells me what colours we have. So we have Basic Black, Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, So Saffron and Whisper White. So I am thinking, I'm thinking Early Espresso. Just because I can. Okay, and I do have my spare paper here because I can always cover it up, but it's not quite going to work if I want to keep that gorgeous background. Okay. And look, you can see some of the things I've been playing with because of my messy mat. I have used the new watercolour paper and it is lovely. Um, okay, this is a sweet, Linda. So it's not necessarily a kit. Um, you can order the whole suite. This, mm, that's a bit patchy, but that's okay. I like it we're going to make this work it's handmade now 
I'm just going to pop this over here. I'm going to grab my stamp and scrub because I have a feeling we're going to be going through quite a few stamp sets. So, no, this is not a kit. This is the Memories and More cards and the Memories and More bases, which are all Magnolia Lane ones. Um, so, I, as I said, you might have been in here earlier. On page 37 of your catalogue is a Magnolia Lane suite. Um, and that is where you're going to find these suite of products. Now, when I have a look, you can buy, there is uh, one order number and you can buy the whole suite which is the stamp set the dies the embossing folder the 12 by 12 paper the cards and envelopes the specialty cards and envelopes the card pack a ribbon pack cork embellishments and the matching stamp and blends so that's pretty huge bundle that you can get and you can also bundle the dies and the stamp sets for 10% off. So there are a couple of ways, or you can buy everything separately. So yeah, um, that's something Stampin' Up! has introduced in the new catalogue, is um, one number for sweets. So rather than ordering everything individually, if you want everything, you can order it under one number. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, I'm thinking I might like one of these on a dimensional. Because that way then we have three magnolias and things in threes always work and this adds a touch of dimension actually what I'm going to do I'm going to stick this to my shirt and there is a method to my madness besides me not being able to get it off this takes away some of the stick because I'm going to be putting a dimensional on it so it does it possibly would have been better putting it on my jeans. Oh, everything's kamikaze off my desk today. Okay. So I shall pop this on my pair of scissors just so I can work out where I like this best. I think I like this just here. Oh, I like that a lot. And because I've got the dimension there, I'm going to stick this directly using my multi-purpose glue directly down to the card. So you can see, besides making a few decisions, these type with the cards and the accessories these card, uh, these greeting cards because there are too many cards uh, come together quite easily and this you could make a nice gift set for someone and have multiple different uh, sentiments so we've already used happy birthday and I've got a thinking of you this would be good for a male gardener, actually. I do know a couple of people. My granddad was into gardening. Um, now, I need to grab another card base. So, come back to my pack here. I might do another three cards, because I think that's what I just grabbed out. One, two, three. Yep. So we will leave this at three cards, at five cards, and uh, see how we go. As I say, running by the seat of my pants, as always here. I might, I am thinking, 
I might want to use some of this vellum because it is so beautiful. And this is four by six, so I'm going to be cutting it at three inches. And then depending on what I put on top depends on mm, having thoughts just consulting my stamp set here now I could use enjoy today and I could pop that I'm just thinking out loud here These cling ones definitely cling. So if I use Enjoy Today with my classic label punch and I have this on the end, that'll look really pretty. Now, we'll have to go back. Yes, exactly, Joanne. It makes it so easy. And I probably will do a class on this. Probably. Um, so let me look back at my colours again. I'm thinking I might stamp this in, hmm, in Petal Pink on Petal Pink because I've got the green or the mossy, the watered down mossy meadow there. So I'm thinking I shall do that this up. Grab some petal pink paper because I was playing with that yesterday. Let's see if I have, oh, I do have a little scrap of petal pink paper here. Hopefully, yep, that's the perfect width. more kamikaze dimensionals and let me spin around to my petal pink ah and I am going to use one of the stickers because I've got a happy birthday and I can put the enjoy today under it <gasps> yay perfect done sold sorry i'm not even on your comments thank you so much for sharing philomena and welcome hello hello allison the vellum is lovely and i just cut the big piece in half so i get two for one out of this and i'm going to make sure i'm covering up some pieces uh, i'm doing this totally the wrong way around from what I normally would. That's fairly straight. And I still have enough to get some more sentiments. Oh, I actually like that I've got more length on this end, so then I can put the flower. Okay, enjoy today. Uh, oh, I might even add enjoy today i could put you are amazing i could put celebrate i could put happy birthday now i could put these just on the inside too so while i get this done tell me what sentiment if you think i should add another sentiment to this to have misplaced no I haven't okay I'm going to play on my silica mat because I'm playing with stickers so I don't want it to stick to anything so I'm going to stick it to my silica mat first um, right that looks really really good 
Okay. And I think I will definitely pop this up on dimensionals. And once again, this is no stamping. Oh, uh, just simple stamping. So I'm just stamping sentiments. I'm not doing anything crazy. But I am using mini dimensionals just on this classic label punch piece because these are perfect. Just the perfect size. Okay. So no one thinks I should add anything else. I should just keep it and enjoy today and then I can um, personalise the inside as needed. And then I can add my other adhesive just behind this piece for the vellum. Yes, I well, actually I haven't used vellum on any of the cards I've made this weekend. I used window sheet, but I didn't use any vellum. Yes, you can all gasp. The cards haven't needed vellum. Ooh, I didn't check the width, but that just fits. Sorry, also making sure I'm getting this as straight as I can. Okay. And the one thing I didn't do with this sticker was stick it to myself. Okay, that's as good as that is going to get. And I think I'll just use some mini glue dots. Window sheet is close enough to vellum. Well, I actually use the window sheet as a structural piece. I cased my uh, lovely friend Bromwen in doing a... Uh, she showed it at on stage. Um using window sheet to hold up a portrait Z fold card. So I'm just putting these glue dots exactly where the um, dimensionals are. Okay, now we're going to have no wiggle room for this. So where this sticks is where this sticks. I think that's fairly good. <gasps> Look at that. That's so soft and pretty. I really like that. That came out beautifully. Right. So that is card number three done. No, card number three. Yes, card number three done. Look, I've got stuff falling everywhere. Hello Miss Alicia, I hope you are having a lovely evening. See I've worked out where most of you are, or I'm trying to remember where most of you are. So I know and talk to you in the correct day vernacular. Turning off my heater because I'm getting a little warm here in my craft area. Although I turn it off and then I get a cool breeze. Thank you. I think that card was rather pretty too. Okay. Next, next, next. What have we got left? Well, we've got this one. Hmm. Got that one. But we also have this one I'm not sure about the grid it makes me think it is way too much of a journaling card with the grid so I might actually reject the grid look at that for a thank you card isn't that perfect but I sort of want to grunge it up I'm going to do something a bit outrageous. Well, not outrageous, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to get my splat box or my messy box. 
and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before so I must be feeling rather brave today oh, and you can see how much I struggle putting together this box at times so this is just my messy box it saves me cleaning my craft room from top to bottom okay let's see if I don't create too much of an avalanche over here now I've got my Stampin' Right markers and I'm going to grab early espresso which is this one that box can go on the floor and people have said if you flick this on here you can create splatters oh it's working so I'm just literally flicking the brush end on the edge to create oh perfect so I know what I did that maybe four or five times and I just created oh, sorry I knocked you guys there too and I just created some really fine splatter because it was quite flat so I just wanted to add a little something and somehow through all of that the thank you remained clean don't ask me how but it did woohoo I love it when experiments work see Stampin' Right markers so 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 versatile and I'm going to be really good and pop them straight away but I knocked down oh no I didn't quite knock down a punch my seat's gone down my word we're having um, having issues all over the joint here right all back up in not midget mode because I'm short enough as it is right now do I want to add anything else to this? Although, you know what would look really pretty? And bring in a touch of that colour. Now, I'm going to see if this works. Relaxing before bed. I normally watch Instagram stories before I go to bed. Oh, do you think I can get this? I know it's a sticker. Right, scissors it is. Come on. Right, got it. And now these are cardstock stickers, which is why I definitely had a few issues. Ooh, I do like that underneath. That just adds a little pop of something. And then I think we'll call this card done and I will stick it directly to the card. And I'll pop this back on the sheet here to use again. If I can get it in correctly. Which... I am. Oh. Need to give it enough room so it doesn't hang off the end. Hey. Right. So that piece is back in to use Ron. Love using my silicon mat for things like that. Oh, I love that. Simple splatter, that extra accent piece. And we are done. dot 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 done and after this I have one card left so we're gonna oh I just put my finger in the glue no I didn't I somehow managed not to I think that was a bit of a crafting miracle that I did not stick my finger in the glue okay 
done that is a really really pretty thank you card and I didn't want to add any more flowers because we already have three and a bloom and we have all that greenery so it didn't require anything extra and my last card base and let's see what else I have so I really I just adore this card base look at that it just pops so I'm going to use that which means now I was saying earlier these patterns on these two cards are actually from the garden lane suite so you can see how well they work with the magnolia lane paper hello sue thank you philomena i think they're rather elegant i'm literally just putting them together i'm not having to do much work here at all which i love i love i love i love so we've got this mm -mm. that's better and i think i want my sentiment to go in this sort of dead space here and i'm liking this orientation because more of the um, blooms are headed in an upward direction now i could use a label but i think that's a little too big Um, I do like the happy birthday. I do wonder. Um, just going to grab. I don't know if I want it on anything bigger. That's all. Let's see if it comes out. I don't. Oh, yep. Yeah, one end is out. So we have the happy birthday. And what am I going to... We've already got buds here. Just thinking, do I just want... Because we've got outline leaves. So if I use a full green... A full leaf. Whoop, if that would finish that off nicely. Just let me get it on the angle that... I would like to a bit close there before and what I think I want to do I want to angle this or I want to put a little uh, V into it to give it a bit of texture now I'm just folded over this so I'm not touching anything sticky oh I didn't get to bed till about that time Thought I heard strangers. Oh, that's so disconcerting. Okay, do you know what? I'm actually going to... I'm just going to cut it at an angle. Just to give it... It's just not going to work holding it. There. So cutting it at an angle, you can see it's just given it a bit of interest without being too blocky and i like that and i think once again i'm going to add some i think we're going to go mini dimensionals probably going to use three again i'm going to go over this join on the leaf and then use two down the body one in the middle and then one at the end yes they certainly do and they were designed to do that Philomena um, the paper the garden lane it's called Verdant Garden um, or Verdant Lane something like that I do actually have it I wasn't originally going to get it and then I got the Magnolia Lane paper and went I need to do that and grab it so yeah just going to pop this on my scissors move that out of the way no yes and no Julie um, it depends 
I am a night owl. Well, a bit of a night owl. I go to bed at about... I try to be in bed at 11. But it doesn't mean I go to sleep at 11. Okay. That is that happy birthday card done. That would also look nice with a bit of vellum under it as well. But it would have to be plain vellum for me with that busyness. Um, it just happened I got really comfy on the lounge and fell asleep. Like hard. But that's okay. I was asleep. I'm not tired today because I did actually sleep. But meh. Must have been all the socialising that I did yesterday with friends. But yeah, definitely less of a morning person than what I am a nighttime person. Okay, that is my fifth card done. So now what I just quickly want to do, I am going to put this on and I'm going to close my ink pad because we all know what disaster can happen if I don't close especially early espresso close that flick done well, I'll put it there and I've also got a stamp even though it's only got petal pink on it I'm just going to Give it a clean that is all ready to put away and I do not have to worry. So I'm going to grab out some, oh, they're all going to come out. So we need four of these, one, two, two, three and four of the envelope inserts. And I'm going to grab four of the envelopes, two and four. <laughs> yeah, look, if I have to be, I will, but I prefer not to be a morning person. Just by, yeah. And I've been told I've never been a norm, uh, morning person by many people in my life who have known me for an incredibly long time. So for these, all I do, now I just use like one strip of adhesive, which is right up here. I go straight across. I stuff this in the envelope and all the way to the bottom and then I line it up up here and we're done but because this doesn't have a fold in it I do have to fold this over and just burnish the edge and then that is all done if you glue all the way down you can then get some buckling so this allows this to move so that's one envelope and then I will show you everything I'm so glad I showed you guys this today it's been on my mind for a little bit to show you Actually, I am going to group process and I'm going to put all of these in first and then I'm going to burnish them together. Do you get, what do you get in the Magnolia set? Um, okay, are you talking about this stamp set or are you talking about the bundle or the big suite? I just need a bit more information and then I can answer your question correctly. They are, they are great envelopes and they've got the foil detail all the way around. So it's great. So Julie, give me some more info and I will answer you. Just while I am doing this. 
cards and envelopes so you get the cards and the envelopes now these coordinate with the memories and more cards but they are bought separately unless you get them in the suite um, and then you can oh, I just finished a snail oh if you ever wonder how to get apart the snail you've got a top and a bottom here and then you just throw out one half and you keep the black bit but lucky I have a second one here um, yeah, so separately or in the sweet Julie is the answer to your question. And I will tell you exactly how many cards and envelopes you get in just a second when I look at. Just trying to center these up as best that I can, but they're handmade, not hallmark. Okay. Well, I've got four left now. The sweets are awesome buys, and you, as far as we worked out when we were at on stage, or my downline and I, they do factor in the 10% off the bundles, so the stamp and the die in that sweet price and it saves you putting in like five or six different numbers even when you're doing an order form so these are our five envelopes and i will go through these five cards again oops i just bent that a touch so we've got our last card which was our happy birthday. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have get all this stuff out of the way and I will lay this out. Hey, okay? we've got our envelopes, we've got our happy birthday card, we have our thank you card, we have our thinking of you card. We have our uh, four by six cut down vellum with enjoy today. And I have used the stickers on every single card. But just a tiny bit and because you get two sheets and this is our happy birthday. Because you get two sheets of those stickers, they're going to go a really, really long way so i don't know how long have i been on maybe half an hour and a bit and i was chitter chattering and having technical issues and i managed to make all those cards so thank you for joining me i hope to be back it won't be thursday because i have an appointment hope to be possibly back on friday and sharing something else with you I will. I have a couple of stamp sets out of my desk, so I shall clean all of this up and I will keep on creating 43 minutes. That's not too bad with all the gabbing that I do as well. So that's a beautiful set to uh, keep for yourself or to tie up with a pretty piece of ribbon or put in one of our acetate boxes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Glenda, I didn't see you pop in. Thank you, girls. You have a lovely evening or afternoon or morning if you're watching on replay. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.